Got him. Oh, oh, got him. <laughs> Get him down right away. There's more. Holy cow. Look at that. <laughs> I dropped that three feet down. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are way up here in northern Wisconsin again. Today we're gonna be pounding some crappies, but we're gonna be doing a little challenge video for you guys. What we're going to be attempting is doing a flasher versus no flasher challenge. Now, Nick has his flasher with him. I am not going to be bringing mine out today. I'm gonna to be leaving it in the truck, which is going to be very sad. But hopefully I'm gonna be able to compete with Nick. Obviously we have fished this lake before, so we do know this body of water. If you set out on a body of water you've never fished before, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to locate those fish. But we've got a pretty good idea. I still think Nick's gonna have the edge on me. So let's grab our stuff, head out to the lake, and see how we do. Well, as you guys can see, taking the walk to the lake. Yeah, we've gotten some snow in Northern Wisconsin. You know, like three feet in the past week and a half. No big deal. Big deal. Definitely makes travel a whole lot harder than when it was early ice with no snow at all. Yep, this is definitely a big problem. Lots of slush on the lake. Probably about a foot and a half of snow. Yeah, this is this is gonna make traveling a lot, lot harder. Well, as we're walking out, we realize that there's some people out here in our spot this is something that never happens maybe they know us maybe they've seen some videos i don't know i guess we're gonna go find out so just got out to the spot the guys that were out here they're actually uh friends of ours from the green bay area which is kind of funny but drilled an assortment of holes around them before we start the challenge i'm just going to take the vex drop her down just kind of see you know, if we got some fish looks like something's on bottom Looks like we got one right off on bottom. Before we start, I'm just gonna drop her down, see if catch a fish at least, see if they're biting. These units are so nice. I don't know how Brandon's even gonna compete because he's not gonna be able to see the depth. He's not gonna be able to see if there's fish. He's not gonna see nothing. And then me on the other hand, I'll be able to see, oh, look at that, there's a fish coming. And it got him. You know, he's not gonna be able to do that, which is gonna be really hard for him. There we go. First fish of the day. Small little crappie, but they're biting. So I think it's going to be fair enough to say that I'm going to absolutely destroy him in this challenge. But we do want to prove that you can come out here without a flasher. I know a lot of people in the ice fishing industry, they like to preach you got to have the best auger, the best ice unit. You know, you got to have all this stuff to be able to go out and fish. And we believe you don't have to, so that's kind of what we want to show. And also just me destroying Brandon today, but. So, I'm gonna get this guy released. Maybe, come on. There he goes. And uh, we're gonna start this challenge. So I'm gonna be using the flasher, he's not. And we're just gonna see who can catch 10 fish the fastest. So, let's go do it. Okay, well, here we go. I've got my tungsten jig with a plastic. Very, very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and Drop her down, and uh, basically all I'm gonna do is just try and get all the way to bottom and then pick it up a little bit. It's gonna be tough to kind of tell where bottom is, but that's going to be our game plan. Marking any fish in this hole? Yeah, a lot of them. They're just hunkered to bottom though. Let me just see what you're working on. I'll give you a cheat. All right, I see your jig. No fish, good luck. Ooh, no fish. Not a good sign. Oh, that was a hit. Wow, I was not expecting that. That came out of nowhere. Oh, another one. Okay, okay. Okay, I must have it at the right depth right now. Got him. Oh boy. Oh boy. No idea what we got going on here. Oh, decent crappie. There we go. <laughs> All right. That's number one. Number one on the day. No flasher. Nothing needed. Decent little crappie. Probably about a 10 inch or so. Not bad at all. Beautiful color to him. Very rich gold in color. Whoa, he's excited to go back. See you later, buddy. Whew, that was exciting. Okay. So, got hit twice. Felt like they were smaller. Lifted it up just a little bit higher. Came up and smoked it. We're going to drop that back down there. See if we can get another one. 
Oh, that was exciting. No flasher. That was exciting. Oh, that's for sure a crappie. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, that was aggressive. Not a big one, but it's a decent crappie. Go ahead and get a release on him. See you later. Haven't marked like a huge school yet, which we normally do. They are just kind of roaming this basin. And unfortunately for Brandon, he does not know that. He's kind of just sitting in one hole and hoping to God that a fish comes in there. Got him. What do we have? Oh, decent crappie. That one wasn't nearly as aggressive as some of the other ones, but just a nice crappie. Go up and hit it. I'm gonna act fast because there are multiple down there. I see somehow Brandon is still catching fish, even though I have the flasher. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was a bigger mark and I just ripped his face off. That's not good. Got him. Yeah, I believe you do. All right, not too bad. Not super big, but a nice crappie. Dang it, you got my plastic and there's more down there. So I'm gonna release this guy quick, get another plastic and hurry up and capitalize on the school. Got him, that's another one. Got him. Wow. Woo! Nice crappie. Oh boy, there we go. Woo, that is number two on the day for Brando. Holy cow, that took a lot of work, but that's fish number two. Just randomly came up and tapped it. All right, there we go, got him unhooked. Probably about eight inches, nine inches maybe. A little bit smaller than the first guy. See you later, buddy. Woo. Gotta hurry up and get this plastic on. There was a fish, really, really suspended. He's like eight feet off bottom, I swear to God. See if it'll hit. Oh, there's two. Oh my gosh. This thing's climbing all the way from the bottom. Got him. Oh, oh. got him. <laughs> Came off. Decent crappie. Get him down right away. There's more. Gotta get back down. Holy cow. Look at that. I dropped that three feet down and that fish was that suspended. I don't even believe it. All right, I gotta hurry up here. There's a whole school of them. Get a release on them. <sighs> Drop it back down. And just like that, that school is gone. I'm gonna go pick up, go check out one of these other holes I drilled. Luckily enough for me, I can check to see if there's fish down there which there is. Go ahead and get this down there right away. Got him. Another crappie. It is so incredibly nice to be able to just get up and see not only the depth, hey buddy, get down there. Not only the depth you're fishing, but to be able to see if there's fish interact with the fish, see what they want, you know, if they want it fast, raised, right on the spot, no movement. There's one. Decent crappie again. I don't even know actually what number crappie I'm on. I know we were saying first to 10. I really don't think Brandon even stands a chance <laughs> at all. So I'm feeling kind of guilty. Now, like I was saying, we were doing this challenge to see, obviously we knew that the flasher was probably gonna win, but we wanted to prove that you can catch fish without a flasher. You can't, you can't, it's really tough. It's tough, but you can. You gotta you, be the best. You caught like a 10 incher. I did, it's not impossible. It's really, really hard and I'm gonna cheat. I see Nick's catching fish here. So this looks like a lot more fun. I'm cold. Guys, you can do it, but it's not easy. I just want to see how easy it is with one of these. It's like well, obviously it's you can see the... there's a fish down there. Yeah, check that out. Obviously you can see he's coming for you. 
Oh, uh, yeah, that one's gonna hit you. Oh, he gave me a little kiss. Still can't even catch him. Oh, get out of here with that. Well, let me drop down and show you how it's done here. Look at it. Okay, here I am. Shaking and baking down here. I don't know if he's coming for you or me, but yeah, it's me. For you. Came for me. Obviously, <laughs> I'm better. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. No, oh no. Oh, there he went. Well, it was a nice one. He broke my line too. He did. <laughs> he broke my line. Well, I'm gonna catch him now. <laughs> All right. Well, that was the biggest one of the day. That was like a 13 incher, oh, and no, nice oh, that one's coming for you already. That was like a 13 incher, came out of the hole, you saw him briefly, broke my line, and now I gotta get a new chicken plastic on it. And my hands are freaking cold. And Brandon's hooked up. Oh boy. Absolute giant or what? <laughs> Absolute giant. <laughs> well, I think we're just going to uh, kind of wash this challenge. We're gonna say that the flasher absolutely destroyed. Yeah. Brandon caught fish, but this definitely is the way to go. Now, if you don't have the money for this, you know you can still get out here and catch fish that's the most important but if you have the money 100 percent buy a flasher yeah, doesn't have to be the best yeah it just to has be to be best. one that works yeah there we go another one using the old flasher that one came up and just slapped it honestly guys it's so nice to have one of these i went most of the morning not using one at all and boy oh boy let me tell you it pays to have one you can definitely do it it's, a, it's actually a really good feeling when you can say that you're catching fish without even using a flasher. Just a little guy. See you later. Oh yeah, it's getting serious. See, like if I didn't have this mark, I would not know that that fish was even coming. So I wouldn't know how to work that fish. And that's a decent crappie. That's why it's so important to have you know, good equipment. Now, I guess the most important thing though is you don't have to have top of the line equipment. Now what we've got is pretty decent stuff. Decent little crappie. Let's say bye bye to them. Ooh, see you, buddy. There's so many fish down there, and you honestly would never know unless you had one of these. But uh, you don't have to have the top of the line equipment, honestly. Um, if you can find something that's even entry level or middle of the road that's suitable for you, check your local Craigslist. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, take a look on Facebook. Take I a got look on this Craigslist. one actually. I traded a shack for it. Great unit. It's like 300 some dollars. It's not top of the line. It is a little old, but didn't you didn't even have to really get the job done. Pay anything. You just traded an old shack that we weren't using anymore. We had a different shack, so worked out pretty well. So we're gonna go ahead, wrap some things up here. Uh, definitely still some fish down there. I think we're gonna stay out here and just fish for a while, but basically we just wanted to get out here, guys, and show you that uh, it is possible. You don't necessarily have to have the most top of the line equipment. You can do it without a flasher even. I mean, I caught a 10, 11 inch crappie pretty much as soon as I got out here, you know. Uh, Nick definitely did do better than me though. I'm gonna go ahead, wrap things up here for you guys, but thanks again for joining us. As always, uh, leave some comments if you guys have questions down below as far as what types of equipment we like to use, what we recommend for you guys to use, and you know what you wanna stay away from, what you do wanna buy. So there's plenty of good stuff out there. Again, if you guys have questions, leave it down in the comments below. So thanks again if you guys enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go if you guys are new to the channel. Until next time, tight lines from NB Edits. <laughs>